Hey everyone, welcome to Big South Media Day here in Concord, North Carolina, alongside Joe Weil. I'm Kevin Burke. Welcome back to HighPointPanthers.com. Let's introduce Joe to you. He's the new voice of High Point University women's basketball. Joe, welcome aboard. What are you excited about this season? Well, I'm excited about the team. It looks like there's going to be a lot of improvement. They're picked third in the preseason poll. You had those seven girls from last year, and now this is their second season under head coach Deanna Hendricks, and there's going to be a lot of improvement, of course, leading the charge, though, is Kayla Keys. Yeah, Kayla's been one of the best performers in school history. It's her senior campaign. What are you looking to see out of her this in her final season? Just taking more leadership. I think mm -hmm. last year was kind of a new thing for her. Now she's in her second year as the main leader on this team. I expect more scoring out of her, but also to facilitate more and defend. Defense was a problem for this team last year, so looking for them to improve on that end, but also improve on the offensive end. A lot of non-conference highlights. A big matchup to start the season. they got a mid-major top 25 in Ohio coming in. What else is on the docket for women's basketball? Well, they'll be playing at Ole Miss, UAB, and also be playing West Virginia. So a lot of great games for the non-conference slate, and that'll set themselves up well once they play uh, the conference slate. Yeah, top seven scorers returned for women's basketball. As for men's basketball this season, it's sort of a new era for HPU. Picked fifth in the preseason poll. John Brown, Adam Weary, and Lorenzo Cagini, Hasheen McIntyre, the graduating class with the winningest percentage of all time at HPU is gone. A lot of new faces this season. Some interesting challenges going to Virginia Tech early, going to Clemson, also going to Vanderbilt. It'll be a very interesting season for High Point men's basketball. We're excited to bring it to you here as we continue our coverage from Big South Media Day. For Joe, I'm Kevin. Thanks for clicking.